Hey friends, today's video I'm going to show you what's in my gym bag, what's required, and what I use. Thanks for the question, Paul. <laughs> hey guys, if you don't know me, my name is Gia, and I just love to eat, love, and look. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> okay, so here's my gym bag, and they're, <laughs> they're scared, darling. This is my gym bag. I'm just going to show you guys what all is in it, and I'll explain to you all the things. I haven't cleaned it out, so maybe there's something that's just lingering there. So, Okay, so first off, the gym bag that I use is this guy. I got this from Amazon. I'll put uh, something on the screen that says anytime I got something in Amazon, I'll link it in the description box. So this bag I got from Amazon. I like it because there's side pockets. Uh, this is actually a shoe compartment. Uh, I don't use it very often. If anything, I use it for like dirty clothes or whatnot. Then there's this other compartment that has like a bunch of pockets. Uh, and then this is the main compartment where I put all my dirty gym floor stuff. Um, so first, let's focus on what I've got inside pockets. <laughs> I've got cleaning wipes because you never know when you need to be clean or it helps clean your phone, things like that. I have gum because why not? I have one of my gym badges. Uh, that's it on that side. Uh, and then in my main pocket, guys, I have deodorant. I don't normally use deodorant because I don't have to ever really so much. But um, this is just a natural deodorant. I have a gym lock. That's from Amazon. Lip balm. Uh, when I compete, sometimes I tan. I don't really like to promote tanning, but I tan if I have to. Uh, I don't like to promote sun tanning because it's just bad for the skin, cancer, all that jazz. So in my main compartment here, guys, is all the stuff that I use on the gym floor. I'm going to pull out the things that I don't use. This is a kind of sticky thing that you put between your phone and you can mount your phone on places if you want to take pictures and whatnot. I got these from Amazon. They're me. Uh, <laughs> I have these grips. I think I got these from Amazon as well. Um, and it goes like this. I used to use these. I don't use them anymore. My hands are small and they were just so thick that it was hard for me to really grab. Um, and I also have carpal tunnel so I needed something that actually also helps me lift heavier without uh, alleviating some of the tension from my carpal, my forearms. And then, let's see, I have these old wrist straps. These are the kinds that you put on your wrist like this and then you take the bar and you wrap the bar around. Actually, let me get a dumbbell. So with these straps, you actually take the d dumbbell and it wraps around like this. See that? And so I can actually just it alleviates a lot of the tension from my forearms, especially when you're doing heavy weights, guys. Uh, that's really helpful. But these I don't use anymore just because they were too cumbersome to use all the time. And, um, yeah, it, and, the, and then the wraparound sometimes would get too thick for me. Or sometimes it would get too loose. Other things I don't use. I have more of those phone sticky things. <laughs> okay, so now let's get down to the things that I love to use uh, on the gym floor. So first off, you guys probably see I always carry just this mesh bag. I don't know where I got this. I got it from somewhere. Um, but in my mesh bag, I always have these things. I'll show you. So these are the grips that I use. In fact, I've worn them to death. I've really put them through the ringer, and so they're really worn. These are the grips I use. You've seen me use this in other videos. Same on this side, right? Really easy to put on. And when you're using a dumbbell, I'll put the dumbbell down here. Can you see that? All you do is you take the grip, wrap it around, and there you go. Easy peasy. Um, and you can use this for pulling motions. You can actually also use this as a kind of glove because this is padded. The reason I'm getting another one is after years, I, I finally wore the padding off. I'm kind of surprised it lasted that long with me. I tend to break things a lot or wear things down a lot. 
So that's always in this bag. And then I always have my clips, my clamps, my collars, whatever you guys want to call it. I got these off of Amazon. Instead of those metal hard ones, you know, my carpal tunnel gives me a hard time. I get a, have a hard time squeezing. Like things like the metal clamps for barbells, easy peasy. I think they're like nine bucks. There's yellow, there's blue, there's black, there's green, I think, and red. So there's two of those in this bag. Um, and my resistance band. You guys have seen me use this. I use this for activation on every leg day, before leg day. And I also use this uh, in some of my exercises, like hip bridges, hip thrusts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one is Fit Girl. Um, there are a bunch of other bands out there, but now I like this one and these styles just because they are so resistant. Right. So I use that for activation and I'll link the video down below that I um, talk about a little bit more during leg day and how I use it. This is my ankle strap. Guys, men, ankle straps are not only for women. There are non-pink ones out there. These are great for um, glute focus work. Um, you basically just, I think I got this from Amazon too. You basically just, I like this one because um, all you do is you wrap it around. And the reason I like this is because there are two hooks that you put into the cable. And so it's not just pulling in one direction and, and potentially un, un velcroing it, but rather two hooks and you get some more even pull. This has been really resilient and uh, really strong. So I'll link that down below. I don't know if they have a non-pink one, but this is the kind I like. So this is um, something that I carry with me. And then of course, my waist belt. I use Harbinger. This is a vegan belt. Um, and I'm not one of those people that pull like a 300 pound deadlift, so I don't need something that's super, super hefty, or I don't do 300 pound squats, those kind of things. So this actually does really well for me. The way that you use a waist belt, guys, is you put it at the weakest part of your torso, the smallest part of your torso. And it's the intention is not to make you look thin and tiny, but rather as added support for your core. And so this is the thinnest part of my torso. And what I do is I inhale, and then I'll squeeze my abs, or like uh, flex my abs, and then that's when I'll pull. And you'll see this part and this part poking out, that means the belt is really kind of holding everything tight for me. But that doesn't mean just because I'm using a belt, I'm not using my core. In fact, I'm using my core a lot, and my belt is just supplementing with additional assistance. So it goes like, I, I do it like this. You should feel the tension all the way around the belt. And yes, that's how it should be. Ooh, squat. <laughs> um, that's it, guys. I hope that was helpful. Uh, check it out at doitwell.com. Uh, protein bread. Of course, it's vegan. All right, guys. If you like this kind of stuff, hit that like button. Um, and if you want to see more content from that mug, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding. Every time this Velcro is getting stuck on my butt. Every time this baby gorilla posts a video. video. Alright guys, have a good day. See ya. Look at it. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs>